It's Chain Reactions. It's XG Valorant crossover uh, undefeated. Let's get into it. I'm a little late. Jurin starts it, it's going to be a banger. Okay. Ooh, so sorry, Coco. I know we we're about to talk about Godzilla, but... Um, something, I always talk about this, you know uh, a good rapper who knows their timing when they can start their verse without the beat doing their timing for them and then have the beat kick in, I talk about it all the time, uh, it's just one of those signs of someone that's not just, here's a verse, rap it now, it's someone who knows what the fuck they're doing and our leader knows what the fuck she's doing. Hey. Okay. Oh, oh shit. Ooh. What's that? Um, so Godzilla Fire Breath. Obviously Godzilla and Kong. It took a dub and I'm cut in the net. We just had the uh, the college basketball finals where my uh, school that I went to, UConn uh, men, just won on their side. Uh, you cut the net. They literally, you go up on a ladder and they cut the net off of the rim um, to celebrate their win. Bring on my finger, but yes. Okay. Maya? Bring on my finger, but yes. Like playing chess and I don't even sweat. That's what I call a finesse. That's what I call a finesse. Hey, Maya, flex about your baguette diamonds. They can try, but they're never ever slowing me down. On arrival, this is my show. Yes. They know we are undefeated. That's why they call me undisputed. Okay. I'm making up another season. I've been up on my stats. Now, would you look at that? With the jumper, then the adios gotta go. I'm the prima donna, make him do the most. Not enough, I'm just warming up. We up in the club. Oh, I'm ready to hunt, time to eat it up. Oh. Hinata, who's rapping there? First off, I love the way that Chisa and Juria bring us into the pre chorus. That was just, mm, yes. Uh, I'm making up another season. Uh -huh. I've been up on my stats. Now, would you look at that? that on with the jumper, then the adios gotta go. I'm the prima donna, make him do the most. Not enough, I'm just warming up. We up in the club. Oh, I'm ready to hunt, time to eat it up. Oh. Ooh, Ooh, I think that's he not to do in those. I'm not sure who's doing that rap leading into it the the tone is fucking with me a little bit but the um the vocals at the end i think that's hinata and the way that she's changing the levels there that is nice i'm the prima donna make him do the most not enough i'm just warming up we up in the club oh i'm mm. Yes. Oh. Arvi. The fucking swagger. Hey. Okay. Come on, Juria, take us to the fucking sky. Hey, even though it's been a long way, even at the top, I'm right away. And we do it all again. Just remember the time, remember the climb. Not a glitter and shine. Oh, she's so. 
Is that Hinata too? Don't be over. Aww. I'm so greedy. <laughs> the 12 seconds of credits. Okay. I'm not going to lie. I'm not here for Valorant. Um, let's see. I want to do... I want the lyrics and stuff. Um, I mean the uh, in the line distribution, but I think that that might have been the swaggiest uh, XG song that I can think of. They fucking brought it. The production was nice. The way that they mixed, they blended the vocals. They they graduated from what Girl Gang was, which was a very short thing that showed some hard hitting verses uh, and then tied in with some really nice uh, crisp vocals. And then I think that uh, what they did here uh, was that they they elevated that, that they brought that to the next level a little bit. We had more of a fully kind of uh, fleshed out song, uh, but it's the same kind of, not that it actually sounds the same, but it's the same kind of song. That like hype, hard hitting rap with the soaring vocals, just, they did it. They they mastered it. And I love Girl Gang. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it, but let's be honest, Girl Gang was like 20 seconds. Right? I'm breaking up another season. Okay. I've been up on my stats. Yes. Would you look at that? that, that. And then she does it here. I, I mentioned this before, I think. At least, I don't know. I'm tired. Um... Starting the verse with no beat, doing your own timing, having the beat pick up where you want it just brings such a dramatic flair to a verse, and it's that's rapper shit. Mm. Love it. Love it. Yes. I love the references there. I also love how we're about to get three different rap styles in sequence, uh, just because they fucking can. They're just flexing on everybody here. Bring on my finger, but yes. Like playing chess and I don't Talk about it. That's what I call a finesse. That's what I call a finesse. Okay, in fucking Maya. The rivals, hmm. They can try, but they're never ever slowing me down. On arrival, this is my show. Crossing my heart, they know we are. Having Chisa and Juria is just, I just accidentally do the wolf thing. Um, they, it, it's just unfair. It's, Chisa has this power. She has this soul in the way that she sings and she can fucking just punch some shit into your ears. And then Juria has this light, graceful way that she can just kind of, just like a feather, just fucking float you down. And that, that one, two uh, sequence is just, whether it's Juria, then Chisa, Chisa, then Juria, there's so many different things you can do with those two powers, uh, and it's just incredible. Oh, this is my show, crossing my heart, they know we are undefeated. Uh-huh, that's why they call me undisputed. Uh-huh, okay. I'm making up another season. Uh-huh, I've been up on my stats. Now would you look at that, 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 that. I would not have thought that that, I, well, I don't know who I thought that was, but I didn't think that that was Kokona. Oh, this was Hinata. Hey. I know Hinata was in some conversations recently, so I'm just going to give her another little moment because the way that she she does that, she does the vocal glue thing. We've talked about it in videos before. If you're new to my channel, check them out. But the way that Hinata is the glue for the for the vocal line, it helps with these with this song composition where they can just do so many different things and they can just always kind of keep you on your 
on your tippy toes. Um, you don't really know what to expect because they can just throw something in there that isn't what you thought was coming and it just changes the level on you just enough to keep it fresh and keep everything from ever getting stale. And the adios, gotta go. I'm the prima donna, make him do the most. Not enough, I'm just warming up. We up in the club, oh. I mm. need a hand, time to eat it up. Okay, we're doing it up, da da da. Oh, like just the level change is just just to just to link a little bit of a bar to what we're about to hear is just fantastic great song composition and you've got the tools to do it and then okay yes the way that Harvey does that, I'm not going to say that this is um, uh, that this is the best Harvey verse because if you watch my other videos, you know which one it is. Uh, but this this sets the tone, I think, for this being the swaggiest song. This is just puts it over the top because she comes in. I love Harvey with that lower tone, and she just comes in and she just drips, pours, spills swag everywhere. Uh, it's all over the place. You need a mop. Uh, it's just incredible the way that she comes in here and then we do with the dun 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 and it coincides with the sound of it just everything about this right here I think takes it from it would have been a good song anyway but it takes it from this is really good to is this the swaggiest song of, from XG on the run, you change up the tempo Maya the ace Fucking show him, girl uh. And then Chisa with that power With that soul coming in here If she's not getting you hyped up You're fucking dead and I don't mean because you don't have a pulse. I mean you're dead because we're gonna find you. Yes. Yes. We're up here. Fucking fantastic! The way that uh, Juria is keeping us up here, we're on the we're on the backs of eagles. I don't know if you've seen the end of Lord of the Rings. We're on the backs of eagles, wind in our hair, just this light, graceful, um, fucking vocal ballerina. Uh, and then we have the chant part coming here. Yeah, you know it's XG, and we do it all again. The ones we can't beat, and then the oh the oh my goodness, that is just a fantastic piece of a song right here it's such a good juxtaposition between what juria does and what it sounds like for that group um for that group vocal moment um for that kind of chant just very very cool um absolutely love that that's one of those things that elevates a song for sure that absolutely takes it from good to great Just Okay, mm. not a Ooh, the little Ariana. I'm breaking up another season. I've been up on my stats. Now, would you look at that? Fucking dope. I'm not gonna lie, I do wish that the uh, the music video either had them in it, like the La Seraphim crossover where there were the animated parts and then there were the parts with the actual group members. They were doing some choreo, they were making an appearance. I thought that was a really cool way to do that. Um, or at least to have them animated in the video. I don't know anything about the game, to be honest, so I don't know if you could have just made them characters in it, I don't know, but 
I would have really liked that, but also that's I'm I know this is a crossover. This is a drawn fans of Valorant, which I'm not. I'm a fan of uh, XG, so um, I'm not saying it didn't do its job. I'm just saying what I would have liked because I was greedy. I also would have loved for it to be three plus minutes. But what I will say, I think swaggiest XG song. Maybe it's recency bias, but I mean just the the confidence and the vibe here is just so fucking powerful. Uh, and then individually, um, I think Chisa brings she brings that punch, she brings that soul, she brings that that hype, she she brings that vocal muscle to kind of just push everything to the next level. Hinata talk about bringing things to the next level. That vocal line glue, as as I've talked about in other videos, she comes in, she mixes it up, she changes it up, she links parts of the song does a great job um her vocals were also really nice too just not just for song composition but alone her vocals were nice during the bookends she starts it hard hitting with the timing with the beat uh just very very nice bookends it she's at the end as well you know she's always going to deliver harvey i think set the tone in a big way with that extremely extremely swaggy uh dripping verse with the lower tone love harvey with the lower tone juria the way that they use juria's light airy vocal ballerina skills uh to set things apart and to set up juxtapositions whether it's with chisa or whether it's it said it was just harvey so maybe it was just harvey with her um voice layered or something but it sounded like they were using her light high note or higher tone with a kind of a, a lower a chant kind of thing in that juxtaposition that's just jarring enough that it stands out and it's like ooh, this is different but it, it still works it's not too jarring so i thought that was really really excellently done maya the ace what are you gonna what else are you gonna say um talking about baguettes i love that good for her hope she actually has some uh but they um they use her as well we we used her to get three different rap styles we had jern kokona and then maya just in quick succession then maya also does the chorus and a little bit of a higher tone she's just showing that incredible range the maya agenda is strong she is the ace um i mean i think there are a few but she is the ace uh, as far as i'm concerned because of how well she can do all of those different things and then kokona of course she brings that punch if this is to be believed, she also delivered the chorus and a couple of bars in a totally different tone than we're used to um, seeing. I know she can do that, but a lot of times they use her for that lower voice, that hard-hitting kind of stuff. Um, and I really liked her verse. I really liked the references to Godzilla, King Kong, the sports references. They just embody hip-hop. Um, so well uh in like a respectful way it's not it doesn't come off to me at least uh as a gimmick for what that's worth i think that um the references the pop culture the styles they don't just use what's trending in in, in eastern music or in k-pop like a lot of groups do they use rap and hip-hop um motifs the way that they're trending in the in the in the west in in the hip-hop world these styles these rap styles are not rap styles that you're hearing in a lot of other groups they're rap styles that you're hearing in western groups and with rappers so uh, i always appreciate that i think that the way that they utilize this the way they do the song composition is always great um when you've got multiple capable rapper rappers multiple capable singers everybody's got swagger the the production team knows what the fuck they're doing the writers know what they're doing it's just such a perfect combination all the ingredients are right and you get stuff like this uh i can't wait for woke up let me know if this was wrong uh if any of this distribution was wrong or if i misidentified anything uh it happens uh but i thought this was really really dope uh alphas please consider liking and subscribing always looking to grow my alphas uh subscriber base both on twitter and here on youtube if you want to see woke up uh my reaction to woke up i mean obviously you can see woke up without me but if you want to see my reaction to woke up please consider subscribing so that uh when i post that you see it with me uh uh, let me know what you think, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and until next time, stay fresh.